Jim Savages, the Black Tiger returns. <laughs> and this time I brought the Filipino feline, Vicky. I know she is a crowd favorite, but more importantly, she is a good friend. And she told me she would be working out with me soon. I haven't seen her in literally maybe two months. She's been very busy, but now we finally got our leg workout in. She actually wanted to do my workout. So I uh, said, okay, because she said she needed something different to do. You know what I mean? So she's actually trying to trim up a little bit. Although Vicky doesn't need to trim up at all. Like she's fine. You know what I mean? And y'all, I, I told her, you know, she's always complaining about her body. And uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was saying to her, but she's always complaining about her body. You know what I mean? I told her, I, I kind of joke with her, but I'm like, you know, you got body dysmorphia. You know what I'm saying? Like you think that you look that bad. You know what I'm saying? But you don't. Now, I, I remember which maybe around 10 years ago, she was a little trimmer when I first met her. But that's it. You know what I mean? Like she's got a soft, you know, stomach. You know, I, I've seen her like wear belly shirts. She's got a regular female flat stomach before her abs used to show. So she wants to get back to that. But she's always complaining. Um, but, um, she came in the day I ran into her and I said, um, yo, we need to do our video. Cause I'll never see you. And she was like, I'm doing legs. I said, I'm doing legs. So she was like, okay, cool, cool. Train me. Cause I need something different. So, um, I started out on the leg curl machine. I believe this is called the unilateral one. So you're going to isolate each one. Okay. Um, you know, she don't want to get big or bulky. So basically I had her do the, um, uh, I had her do five sets of 15 to 20. She chose 15. I was doing five sets of 10. Okay. Kept the weight kind of moderate, you know, for me. Um, I just started this machine. It's kind of funny when you start doing a workout and you're like, damn, like the weights, like the weight on one leg, you find out when you really start training with dumbbells and stuff that work each side of your body especially when you want to even strength out and get certain parts to grow and catch up to the other one, you'll find out which side is stronger real fast. So my left leg is stronger than my right leg um, in that movement. So I've decided to keep doing that to strengthen it up. Then we went over to the leg extensions, which of course is going to run, work the front of the leg. Leg curls, which was the last one, is going to work the back of the leg, the hamstrings. This is going to work the quadriceps. It's going to work that teardrop part of the leg. She did five sets of 20, and I did five sets of 10. She did lightweight. I did moderate to heavyweight with mine. I like to squeeze up the top, get the blood, you know, get the, uh, you know, engorge the teardrops. With the blood of madness. Yeah, baby. Then we went over to do some more um, hamstrings. It's kind of funny. I found out right here. I'm like, Vicky. She's like, oh, you do the hard machine. I'm like, well, Vicky, I mean, if you want to make some progress, you got to challenge yourself. I said, I know what you do. You do a lot of the easy stuff because she works out as long as I do or longer. She works out really hard, but she does a lot of like easy to moderate level stuff. But wait till y'all see her ab workout at the end. Uh, yeah, I ain't fucking with her there at all. You know what I mean? So I had her do five sets of 20. Then, of course, I did five sets of 10 with this. Um, ladies, this is going to work your hamstrings and a little bit of your booty there. You know what I'm saying? Um I really like this machine. I've always liked these machines, but I notice in certain gyms, the machines can feel really funny. You'll notice when you go to certain gyms, man, like some, some gyms, you really like the equipment. It's something about how they're designed. They really isolate certain parts of your body. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, she likes to do a little pump at the end of hers to, to get extra blood in there. Now you get to feast your eyes, young Magnesitas on the gluteus magnus. Fellas, don't look. <laughs> Vicky, why the fuck is your finger 
on the lens. Got to teach her how to use my note too, goddammit. Um, went over to do calf raises. Now, I didn't do calf raises with her. I had her do three sets of 20. She feels as though her calves are a little bit too developed or big. So I said, okay, we'll just do really lightweight. And, uh, yeah, I told her just, I told her something there. I forgot why she gave me the thumbs up. But uh, I said, yeah, just do three sets of 20. Get some blood in them. You know, work them out a little bit. So you feel they're too big, don't work them at all. Some people have a gift body part and they feel as though, you know, that's that they don't have to work it. Um, now, I took her over and had her do squats. We did. I had her do five sets of 20. I did five sets of uh, 10 moderate weight. I didn't really, you know, beef it up at all. I just wanted to come in here today really seriously to just get, get some blood flowing in me today. Um, it's kind of funny, too, because this guy came over. Like, hey, uh, you know, he tried to tell us everything on how to squat. Now, yes, I do understand she is leaning forward a little bit. I only took one take of every set that we did. This was her first set. See, see how she's pumping at the bottom. She likes to do that stuff. But I um, I did correct her in the very next set. Um, you know, I was talking to her while she was doing it, telling her to look up so that she could hold her form. Uh, we both go to around parallel, maybe slight below, slightly below. I had a hernia injury a few years ago, so I don't do basement anymore unless I want my intestines hanging in my nuts. So, um, yeah, uh, I learned this method from that guy that's, you know, at the end, he's got at the end of all his videos, he's got that. Um, he's taking off the uh, Dragon Zord helmet, the Green Ranger helmet and slamming it. I learned that from him to do it lower on the back. Um, and I like it. I really like that form. It doesn't bother my um, my my hernia injury. So I, I'm looking to go lower in the future. Um, I went over to finish up with abs, and I did uh, the dragon flags. Yes, my legs are a little bit bent. Um, like I said, since the hernia injury, there's certain things I just really am afraid to do. I don't want to pop nothing. But this is all I do for abs because when I get cut, you can see everything. Trust me. Um, she could. She tried to do them. But she couldn't do them. I wanted to videotape her doing them. She wouldn't let me. Now, this is the bonus footage. Man, this is like another seven, eight minutes of her straight through, seriously, doing her ab workout. You'll see the film cut at one point, the footage cut. But I, I started recording again because I was like, oh, you're not done. She learned this workout from my boy Stu. He's like, work, literally walks around at 3 and 4% body fat. His abs are his shrine. So, you know, he's always working his abs. He just loves working abs. Me personally, I do flags and I'm out. And I still got, yeah, I'm not nothing against him. He just loves working, but I still got my obliques and everything when I'm cut. Trust me on that. But uh, she used to work out with him a lot. And uh, he learned, she learned this, this workout from him. And you'll see at one point, she's all like apologizing and, like talking to the camera because she's like, I didn't want Tyrone to, to 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 film me working out today. He made me. He forced me. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here, Vicky. You wanted to work out anyway. She was like, I'm so out of shape. Please forgive me. I'm like, Vicky, I, I look, I'm going to ask y'all to please post your comments below and tell me if Vicky is in good shape or not. Not nah, OK. So at the bottom, I want you all to say you're in great shape, Vicky or Vicky, your body absolutely sucks because I told her, I said, look, the female want to see how you work out. I'm sure that follow you. You have a you know good physique and, you know, it, it's it, it shows them stuff that I don't do. It helps to show someone else doing something, you know, call, you know, it's some variety. You know what I'm saying? So. She agreed and she's like, I ain't been, I ain't worked out in weeks and I look so bad and I feel fat. And I'm like, yeah, right. Exactly. She's like, why are you still filming me? I'm like, Vicky, you're not fat. Stop this shit. You know what I'm saying? Look, you see, she's not done. She is still going. She is still going. I'm just like, man, look, I'd have burnt out on your first exercise. I have strong abs, but I don't have well-conditioned abs. I'm a sprinter by nature. I can like the flash. I'm fast, but I can't keep it up for a really long time. Remember that race Lionel and Chitara had? 
Remember Lion 01 because she had more stamina than Jitara. She could only keep up her speed for a short amount of time. That's how I am with my abs. Um, but I am getting better with running. I am, uh, I've been running about three and a half miles every day, almost every day. If I don't run it, I walk it. I'm still getting my feet and my legs and my joints conditioned to it because I have to run on asphalt. When you run on asphalt, it fucks you up. It can fuck with your joints and stuff. So I've been taking things easy. I rest in between days. You know, I'll take a day or two after I run because I run in them Vibram five finger toes, which condition your your body to run barefoot, which changes body mechanics, just so you know. And she's still going. Exactly. Right. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. She has not stopped. She has not stopped. Right. Exactly. She has not stopped. And she's still going. And still going. And still going. <laughs> Jesus. I was just sitting there, Indian style filming her. I was like, this is ridiculous. She's still going. And I'm sure some of y'all know some people. Some of y'all probably do um, ab workouts like this, man. Just keep, just remember hey, goals. That's fine. Have your goals. You want to get your abs to look like this, or you want to be able to do this many push-ups or this many squats. That's fine. But when you're bodybuilding, there's a lot of things you really don't have to do to get the results that you need. So she got used to this ab workout. Like she wouldn't have to do this at all if she wanted her abs to show. She just she knows she needs to tighten her diet up. Now, this is funny. I sat down next to her about two months ago when she was still coming to the gym. And this is a 47-year-old woman telling me this, girls. I said, I, I forgot what I said. I, oh, I sat down and I was like, is that what you'd be, um, you be trying, you practicing on putting it on your man? And she started laughing and she said, um, no, but this actually does tighten it up. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, seriously, it ha helps tighten it. And I said, well, I guess so. If you, you know, you're squeezing like that, you're probably, um, Flexing some inner pelvic muscles and stuff. You know, I don't know everything, magnesites. You get half science and half bro science with me because I don't know everything, you know. Um, I'm the guy that's in pretty good shape that's in the gym that's been working out for a while. Trial and error. That's how I learned how to work out. And from my uncle and watching other videos and stuff like that, you know. So, and she is still going. She's like a Kenyan with abs. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how Kenyans are the masters at the long distance running? This is long distance abs. Like, I can't believe that she is still going. You will never see me do this, Maggie Sykes. I'm just letting you know. I ain't doing it. She's doing it, not me. She's, she's like, you're still recording me. Yeah, I'm still recording you, Vicky. Jesus. Oh, my God. If this woman don't stop. I forgot how long this was, Maggie Sykes. Mm. Okay, so... um. I'm running out of things to talk about, Max. Uh, there's the top of Vicky's bottle there. She uh, carries a very big jug of water with her. And, uh... <laughs> God. Fuck this. I'm sorry, man. Look, I'm telling you right now, when I do the flags, dragon flags work the top all the way to the bottom. Only thing that doesn't really work is the obliques. Although it kind of does... In the, uh, until your abs get kind of get used to it. But I do feel it in the um, serratus area. You know, the riblets. You know what I'm saying? That area right there. I do feel it there also. It's a very good ab exercise. And I cannot believe that this woman is still going. Oh, by the way. Um, one of my boys actually invited me to do a um, Spartan run with him. I thought that was pretty cool. He wanted me to do that mud run. I ain't doing no nasty ass mud run. You know, I ain't no bitch. I ain't no priss. But I just don't need mud in my nose and in my feet. And, you know, catching a, you know, fucking foot fungus and worms and mites and all that. Man, that ain't for me. I'm sorry. That's the, that's the crazy adventurer type shit. I'm sorry. It ain't for me. But if I do do one, I'm definitely going to let y'all know. And, um. As far as doing other workout videos with her, I will when I can. Uh, I want to start doing it with my buddy Tom. He looks like a five foot nine or ten Captain America, and he lifts like him too, man. He lifts a lot. She telling me to cut it off. I ain't cutting shit off, Vicky. Keep going. There we go. Um, 
Yeah, so he looked like Captain America's little brother, and he lifts like him. He was he was pressing like one hundred and five pound dumbbells the other day, and I was just like, you know what? I'm doing fifty pound dumbbells, so I'm on my bitch. But um, that ain't why I ain't did the workout winning. The only reason why is because uh, he does like a lot of strength routines. I'm going to talk to him soon. He watches my videos now. So I'm going to talk to him soon. Me and him going to get together and we're going to do a workout video. All right. And he's in there a lot when I'm in there. So the workout videos will be more and more consistent. All right, y'all. Um, so you'll be able to see, you know, maybe I'll come in one of these days and I'll do, I'll, I'll watch him. I'll, I'll videotape him doing a power workout of his. Maybe I'll do a power workout with him, um, you know, and then we'll do workouts together. You know, do some of mine, you know, stuff like that, you know, because uh, I never, ever wanted to watch the I mean, I mean, stop the savage gym workouts, man. They were supposed to be a regular thing. But then Sarah's schedule changed. And I was I wasn't seeing her as much anymore at all. And then, of course, y'all know what happened. So, of course, I didn't have my camera person with me. And my, my cousin, James Grizzly, he used to uh, come with me, but he uh, he only had a free pass for a couple of weeks. So that's the reason why I did a certain few videos with him. And then he never joined LA Fitness, which is where I go to. He's at Retro, which I think fucking sucks. But Retro will get you there. I just, it the one, the ones that I saw, they were just way too crowded. You know, LA Fitness is a lot bigger. I just like, I just like it better at LA Fitness. So I think she finished up here. And this is share cop and please. Oh no, she didn't finish. I fucking forgot. She she didn't finish, Magnus. Like she's about to do a plank. I forgot about that. She's about to do a plank. And she told me, she said, um, you know, time me, see how well I do. And uh once she got to a minute, she dropped. And I told her that she was at a minute. She, I was like, you could have did more than that, Vic. You know what I'm saying? You could have did more than that, but that's what she wanted to do. Planks. Planks can be a hard exercise. Some of my bitches. As you can see here, Vicky right here, she's got her big jug of beer. She's doing her damn planks. We're going to have some Steve Wilders and some hot dogs when we're done. <laughs> and that's the bottom line. Because the Filipino feline said so. <laughs> Come on, Vicky. Do it as long as you can. Show the magnesites just how electrifying you are. And if you look at her shoes, man, she's wearing one of my colors, which is yellow. She needs to get along with the red too, brother. <laughs> then she dropped. Yeah, so. Yeah, I think this is. I think she's done now. Yeah, that's when she was like, he made me do this. He made me. Are you done, Vic? Yeah, she's done. All right, Magnus Sites. I hope y'all enjoyed this workout video. This is the longest fucking workout video that I have done, some of them bitches. Shut up, Vicky. And you will be in more videos. Yes, you will. Thank you. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all thought of the workout video between the Black Tiger and the Cougar, the Filipino feline.